Hi everyone, let's continue our lecture with subtopic 4.3, orbital overlap and hybridization. Okay, so far, we have learned a very simple view on how covalent bond form based on the use of Lewis structure. Lewis structure, however, tells us nothing about why covalent bonds are formed or how the electron manage to be shared between atoms. While Vesper theory is only a good model for predicting the shapes of molecules, but it also doesn't explain why and how covalent bond exists between atoms. The Lewis structure and Vesper theory also do not explain what orbitals involve in bonding. Therefore, in this lesson, we are going to look at to a bonding theory, which is a valence bond theory that can answer all of this question. So, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to draw and describe the formation of sigma and pi bonds from overlapping of orbitals. Valence bond theory is a model used to describe the formation of covalent bond through overlapping of two neighboring atomic valence orbital. So according to valence bond theory, the two neighboring atoms should have the unpaired electron in their valence orbital. So as a result, the overlapping orbitals contain a pair of electrons with opposite spin. Basically, there are two types of covalent bond, which are sigma bond and pi bond depends on how the orbital overlap. Next, we are going to discuss on the formation of both sigma and pi bonds. Sigma bond is a covalent bond which is resulting from end-to-end -end overlap. All single bonds are sigma bond. There are three simple overlap that result in sigma bond. First, overlapping of two S orbitals Second, overlapping of one S orbital with one P orbital. Third, overlapping of two P orbitals. This type of overlap results in electron density which is concentrated between the nuclei of the bonding atoms. Okay. Before we proceed with the example, I want you to remember these three main points. If you want to explain the formation of covalent bond based on valence bond theory. Okay, first of all, you have to write the orbital diagram for the valence electron of all atoms which is involved in bonding. Second, you have to observe which orbital occupy unpaired electron which is used in the formation of covalent bond. The third one, you have to draw the orbital overlapping diagram to represent the formation of covalent bond by using appropriate shape of orbital. Now we look at the first way of sigma bond form that is overlapping between two S orbitals. We take hydrogen gas molecule as the example. As we know, hydrogen has one valence electron. And this electron is located in 1s orbital. The shape of this orbital is sphere. In order to achieve duplex, the hydrogen will share the electron. The overlapping of 1s orbital will form sigma bond. Next, the second way of sigma bond that is overlapping of 1s orbital and 1 p orbital. We take hydrogen fluoride as the example. As we know, hydrogen has one valence electron and this electron is located in 1s orbital. The shape of this orbital is pure. While fluorine atom has seven valence electron and only one electron is unpaired. This unpaired electron is located in two P orbital. The shape of orbital is dumbbell. In order to achieve duplet or octet, 
the hydrogen and fluorine atom will share the electron. The overlapping of 1s orbital of hydrogen and 2p orbital of fluorine will form sigma bond. The third way of sigma bond form that is overlapping of 2p orbitals. We take fluorine gas molecule as an example. As we know, fluorine has 7 valence electron and only one electron is unpaired. This unpaired electron is located in 2p orbital. The shape of this orbital is dumbbell. In order to achieve octet, these two fluorine atoms will share the unpaired electrons. The overlapping of 2p orbitals from two fluorine atoms will form sigma bond. So, as a conclusion, sigma bond is resulting from n to n orbital overlapping, whether between 2s orbital or 1s orbital with 1p orbital or 2p orbital. All single bond are sigma bonds.